Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khalid Maidan. In today's video, we're going to be taking you through some tips about how to ask your patient about the 24-hour pattern in relation to their symptoms. First of all, what questions do we ask? Well, we're going to break it down into how your patient feels in the morning, during the day, in the evening, and then at night. Let's start with the morning. So are your patient's symptoms better, worse, or no different in the morning? After that, take the initiative to explore your patient's symptoms until you are satisfied that you have identified what their morning pattern is. You might well want to differentiate between pain as soon as your patient opens their eyes and pain once they have started moving. Pathology such as rheumatoid conditions or something sinister like a tumour may well present as soon as your patient opens their eyes, whereas osteoarthritic symptoms, for example, may be more likely to present once your patient starts moving. Next, we're moving on to their symptoms during the day. Are they better during the day, worse, or no different? Or are they activity dependent? In that case, you might want to ask, well, what activities make it better or worse? What time do you do those activities? Is that when your pain gets better or worse? Next, we're going to go to the evening. Are your patient's symptoms better, worse, or no different in the evening? Again, you may well wish to take the initiative there and explore the patient's symptoms in the evening until you're satisfied with the pattern. For example, are the symptoms better in the evening for a certain reason? Is it because they take their painkillers in the evening? And then we're going to ask them about nighttime, which is very important. We're going to ask whether our patient symptoms are better at night, worse at night, or no different at night. Again, we're then going to take the initiative and ask even more questions until we're satisfied and have identified the pattern. So for example, you could ask if your patient's symptoms varies depending on different sleeping positions different number of pillows, different quality of pillows, or even different mattresses. You could ask how long it takes for your patient to get to sleep, and if they do wake up, how long do they stay awake for before they can get back to sleep? If your patient says that they are sleeping badly, ask why. Is it because they're waking up because of pain? Or is it something completely different, like they need to go to the toilet frequently? Or is it because they're stressed and there's a lot on their mind? Beware, significant night pain can be very suspicious. For example, a complete inability to lie supine, or if your patient says that they have to sleep in an armchair to reduce their pain, could be indicative of a spinal tumor or spinal metastases, for example. So here are some rough guidelines which can be used to guide your clinical impression and can help you differentiate between symptoms which are inflammatory, osteoarthritic, mechanical or postural in nature. Let's start with inflammatory conditions. These are typically more irritable very first thing in the morning, which improves minimally after the patient starts moving around, but then settle relatively over the course of the next 60 minutes or so. These symptoms may gradually get worse towards the end of the day or in the evening. These patients tend to like being on the go and tend to get more pain at rest. They tend to have more pain at night due to the accumulation of inflammatory irritation which occurs through the day, and waking in the second half of the night is a key feature. A common complaint of patients with inflammatory pathology is being awake for extended periods of the night, where changes in their position have no influence on their pain. Next, osteoarthritic conditions. We find patients with this condition have stiffness which is greater than pain first thing in the morning, and eases over the next 30 minutes once they start moving around. Next, on to mechanical pathologies. These tend to be activity dependent, but may follow a particular daily pattern because the same activity is done at the same time each day. So for example, your patient may have to walk 30 minutes to get home at five o'clock every day, which increases their pain and therefore it's understandable that their pain occurs at the same time every day. Finally, on to postural conditions. These tend to be worse towards the end of the day, after your patient may have been in prolonged positions during earlier parts of the day. You may ask what postures your patient takes up, and at what time of the day that is, to see if it's related. 
For example, you may have an office worker who sits all day with their neck in right-sided rotation, and that's because that's where their monitor is positioned at work. Their pain, therefore, may well be worse in the day, but get better once they're at home in the evening. You might therefore ask this kind of patient how their pain is on the weekends when they are not at work in comparison to during the week when they are at work. And guys, that completes our video. Thank you as always for watching, and we'd like to encourage you to watch some of our other videos within the subject of assessment catalogue right here on Clinical Physio.